Hey you guys, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I do look a little uneven and because today is another one of our basics, one-on-one -on -one videos. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys on how to cover up discoloration under the eyes. Um, now this is not going to be addressing, uh, you know, kind of how you have some swelling underneath the eye, that type of thing. This is only going to address the discoloration we all have under our eyes, whether it's hereditary or lack of sleep or whatever that is. And today I'm going to teach you how to get rid of of that. All right, so let's get started. Actually, to be honest with you, it's actually not that difficult, but I know it does take some few techniques that I am so happy to share and really give you guys a feeling of empowerment to be able to take care of that discoloration. So the first thing that you're going to need, so for me, actually today is a good day. I don't have severe discoloration under my eye, but you guys can see the darkness that is just normally um, under my eyes, um, that I always, every day, kind of correct. Now, if you have um, severe discoloration, I'm talking like purples, pinks, um, you know, almost looks kind of brown under the eye, you know, kind of extends hereditarily like this outside of the eye, we're going to address you too. But the same techniques I use, you're going to use as well. So this video is for everyone. Okay. So um, I have my new foundation, I have my foundation on, and actually I'm trying out the IT Cosmetics, brand new IT Cosmetics, um, what do they call this, Confidence in a Compact. I actually kind of like it. If you guys want me to do a full review for you guys, comment below and I'll, I'll let you guys know how I, how I like it and maybe I'll wear it all day and tell you guys what I think, but comment below. Um, all right, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a color corrector. Now, I like to use color correctors that are lightweight, and one of my favorite color correctors that I've ever used is by Urban Decay. It is the Naked Skin um, Color Correcting Concealer, they call it, in peach. I do know they make a darker peach for a little bit more severe discoloration, but then there's also like Becca has one that is quite orange. Um, and then Makeup Forever has one in their like little um, uh, concealer packet, and this is this orange I'm talking about. So if you have severe discoloration, I'm talking like dark, dark, dark purples, reds under your eyes, blues, maybe you have veins underneath your eye, I would use something a little bit more um, deep in color. Now, something else that plays into this is your skin tone. Um, obviously, I am fair. So I am not going to go in with this color, color corrector. It's just, it would not work. You would see the orange through my foundation. So I am going in with this peach color corrector and it's just ever so slightly peach, if you guys can see that, um, but just enough to counteract this coloration. And if you haven't seen my how to correct pigmentation video, I'll link it below. Um, and that tells you how to kind of get discoloration um, off throughout the rest of your face and same similar techniques applied to the under eye. Now, um, what I've done already is I've applied a some eye cream. Now, in the day when you're going to be doing this layering effect, make sure you use a very lightweight eye cream or use very little of it and allow it to sink in. You don't want to have too much extra hydration underneath here when you're doing this step. Okay, so if you're gonna be using the dark color corrector or the or the lighter color corrector, that's what your first step is. Now notice I do have my foundation on, but I did not put it under the eye. Um, it's really about preference. Sometimes I'll put it under the eye and then just put concealer over it if I'm having, you know, one of those kind of good days. Um, but, it, you know, again, we're talking about, you know, severe color correction. Um, and so you're going to want to not put any foundation underneath your eye because, again, we're not adding layers. So more layers, more texture. We want to reduce the texture appearance. Take your color corrector. Now you only want to apply your corrector where you have discoloration. This is not a highlighting technique. This is a color correcting technique. So a lot of people will just slap on a ton of concealer and that is not, um, the right way to go about it because it, as you know if you suffer with this problem it's just going to show through gray through your foundation so you're going to have to correct and counteract that color and then you can apply your concealer and things um, uh, on top of it so i have discoloration right here 
and right down here okay so if you have color if you have discoloration all throughout here and a little bit down your cheek color correct away um, I just have my foundation on because I'm just have you know I'm on camera so I just thought I would perfect the skin before I you know finished up with this but this is the first step you're going to do before you even apply your foundation so I'm going to go dot 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 all right and I'm going to do one eye so I can show you the difference it does not take a lot, it just takes a little bit. Again, a little product, cover up. Then if you need a little bit more, use a little bit more. So that's also something really important to remember is a little bit and then pack it in, a little bit, pat it in. So you can take your finger and just gently start to pat this in. Again, using your ring finger because we all know that has the lightest pressure and we want to be very delicate with this area okay so you can already see the difference this one is looks like it's smooth okay that's what we want it's not looking like it's dipping down anymore it's not looking like it has discoloration now you will be able to see that I have peach on my skin you can see it um, and don't worry about that don't get too frightened about that I'm going to apply just one little bit more dot here because I want to have a little bit more coverage. And again, patting this in. I like this formula of this product because it's lightweight and it's not dewy. So it dries down matte, which is super important because if you have dewy, it's going to pull attention to your uh, texture underneath your eye. Um, and then I like to use a lightweight concealer. So something that dries down matte again, that is not super heavy and creamy. Now, don't get me wrong. Some days I use my NARS, um, what is this called? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Yes, I totally do. Um, but again, this is for another day. Um, the Shape Tape by um, Tarte is also very similar to this formula. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And I'm actually going to use the Neutralizer. It does come in peach, like a peaches color. And you can totally use that as well. Um, and then you'll apply your regular concealer over it. But I like an extra added boost to the under eye. So I'm going to use this as my concealer. Now, feel free to go in with whatever concealer that you have that is lightweight and you feel is good for your skin. And I am going to do just a little bit of a U here because, and I, I'm not getting directly right up to my lash line. I am doing a little bit of a U to pull the eye and the light down along my face and away from where that discoloration will be. All right, so take a quick peek between the two eyes. You can see this one is highlighted and lifted. And I actually, a lot of times, don't even set this under eye um, with this concealer but obviously that is for another video that's really the technique for color correcting discoloration under the eyes um, I'm gonna quickly do the other eye and I'll be right back all right so the other eye is done um, so something really too to remember when you're doing this technique is to use padding motions did you see the whole time I used padding motions you know with the beauty blender it's padding with my finger it's padding nothing is ever swiping that is something I really want to kind of drive home it's all padding because when you swipe you swipe and wipe away product and everything else you just worked so hard to do um, if you've also seen um, my how to make your makeup last all day long where I used to share my setting techniques with you you can use the same idea with your beauty blender too to really set each layer with the setting spray into your sponge so that's something to kind of incorporate here um, all right so just as an added bonus since that was the technique I'm going to set the under eye just so I can show you how I set the under eye and maybe that might work for you um, I, I think you, I've actually already said this a million times, but if this is your first time watching me, then this is going to be a little bonus tip for you that I help helps. So I'm going to take my center color in my hourglass ambient uh, lighting palette, which is this guy right here. And then I'm also going to take a lighter, where's my stuff? And then I'm going to take a translucent powder, which is, I'm just taking the uh, Chanel loose powder in number, um, let's see here, number 30. And I'm going to combine the two on a very fluffy brush. This is a Sephora Pro brush. This is the number 93. 
And the reason why I like to use this is because it has just a touch of light reflecting properties. It is not glittery, so you can't do this with like a highlighter. Um, it just has some light reflecting properties to it that I find just helps divert the eye from any kind of crepiness or lines or anything like that. And I'm just going to pat this into the eye. So there we go. So nothing, again, this is, you know, nothing is swept. This is all, you know, bouncing and patting the powders in even too to really make sure that we're not moving anything. All right, so I hope that this quick little tip for you guys, my 101 on how to cover up dark under eye circles, under eye discoloration, really helped you guys out. Please comment below and let me know any other um, basic 101 videos that you guys want. Um, I know I have an eyeshadow blending um, 101 coming up as well as a 101 on how to do a cut crease. Um, and so I need some more ideas from you guys on what else to add. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye, you guys.